Hello everyone and welcome back to the Becoming Woman podcast. I hope everyone had a wonderful Easter if you celebrate. I shared on my Instagram story that I was making like a carrot cake. It was like a carrot blueberry cake, but it turned out so good. So I usually don't refer to recipes and I know that's super weird because I love to cook and I love to bake, but with a lot of things I love to just like intuitively make things and just pretty much freehand it so I'm really glad that this turned out good and as soon as I remember the recipe I made up I'm definitely going to share it with you guys because I really really loved it. I'm going to be eating it all week. Okay so today's spirit baby forecast or I should say this month's spirit baby forecast is going to be a little bit different because the entire forecast audio will be available here for you guys and if you're new to listening to these forecasts basically what would happen is i would pull three oracle cards and you guys would publicly get that portion of the podcast and then if you were a paid subscriber on substack you would receive the full audio where we kind of just like channel freestyle we freestyle with the channeling and the substack subscribers would get that but for now the substack paid option is on hold i'm working some things around trying to figure out how to best serve you guys in that community so for now that's on hold and you guys will get the entire monthly forecast for today so i actually pulled these cards yesterday so I put them to the side so the cards have already been shuffled and they've already been pulled and then I'm feeling called for this month to be more of like a collective message and some of the forecasts we go into different categories so sometimes it'll come through like oh this message is for women who are already mothers or this message is for those of you who are trying to conceive but I'm feeling that today this is going to be just an overall collective message. So I'm going to start by reading the cards and if you're wondering what deck I'm using, I haven't used this in any of the forecasts yet because I literally just found this oracle deck when we were um, like organizing more things for the new house and I totally like forgot, well not forgot, I knew that I had these but I didn't know where I put them. And these are oracle cards that I actually designed. So these are the Spirit Baby Answers oracle cards. And I will link, I will put the link down below in the description if you feel called to purchase them. It is a 52 card oracle deck. And each of them have messages of hope and healing. And there's also some very lighthearted ones in here. And I had a lot of fun with designing the artwork for it as well. So it was just me, my laptop, Canva, my intuition, designing these cards. So again, if you feel called to purchase them, go to the description and I will put the link down there. All right, you guys, let's get started. So card number one is nature makes me feel at home. Let's connect through there. The second card is don't be discouraged. I love you very much and I'm here with you. And the third card is there are two of us. So what I'm feeling as a, oh my gosh, they're like falling off of me. What I am picking up on from all three of these cards is actually a pull between masculine and feminine energies. And it feels like this is going to be a theme in April 2024. So if you're new to the Spirit Baby forecast, basically what I'm channeling is not just like for if you want to conceive or like parenting advice, the Spirit Baby realm provides us with wisdom and guidance no matter what phase of life we're in. And so I'm channeling from them and translating their wisdom and their guidance through this forecast. So for this month of April, it feels like there's a push and pull energy between, oh, I should do more, but I really want this instead. It's like battling with the should 
because the should feels a little bit safer versus what you want and what you desire. And this would kind of be like the pull between, I want to say, a wounded masculine and wounded feminine energy. And so that's what I'm picking up on specifically from the card where it says there are two of us. Because when I read the card and as I'm channeling, I'm being shown the image of a spirit baby boy and spirit baby girl. And they both just have, they're both embodying the qualities of the masculine and the feminine. But there's a little bit of like, a rep repelling energy between them and so what they are saying is throughout this month you're going to feel like there are a lot of things where you're like I should do it I should do it because it feels safe in the moment I should do it because I want to prove myself to another person that's actually coming up really strongly where there's an energy of I should do this in order to prove my image or my worth to another person and I'm seeing it specifically within the workplace. It feels like there's been a lack of, I want to say, respect for yourself when it comes to your interactions with other people in the workplace and it feels like you're trying, you're trying to make yourself look good but you're actually burning yourself out in the process. So by the time you've gone through the actions to prove yourself or to act a certain way around this person, you're coming home and you're like, I just want to rest or you just want to create, you want to you wanna be in that flow. But then you're also like, well, wait, maybe let me think of ways to do extra or to do more. And so it's this essence of like, of I'm trying to be better for someone else rather than using my time and my thoughts and my energy to be better for myself. And I'm seeing this experience bringing up a previous wounding within you. So there's an image coming through of this person that you might be trying to prove yourself to kind of just like swiftly walking past you and not paying attention to you and you're like, wait I I want their attention like I want them to recognize me but it's not actually you wanting their attention it's you wanting the attention of yourself to give yourself the approval and validation that you're seeking from them when situations like this happen it's actually an invitation to open up our throat chakra so it's not just about like verbal expression or verbally saying something it's about expression in general and expression vocally is just one of the ways that we can communicate and to express ourselves overall what i'm hearing is that your throat chakra is feeling blocked when you're seeking the approval of someone else because it's actually dimming your own inner voice because that inner voice, when listened to and embodied, opens up that third chakra and allows you to actually receive the nourishment of feeling worthy, feeling validated, and feeling like you don't have to keep doing extra in order to be worthy of whatever it is that you're working on, healing on, whatever your situation may be. The spirit babies are showing me that this is a situation that is being brought into your home and family life and relationship if you're currently on the journey of trying to conceive because it feels like you're internalizing this feeling of not being validated and applying it to yourself so it turns into I'm not good enough I'm not doing enough I'm not being enough and when we say that to ourselves, and when we embody that energy it does have an effect on our womb because our womb desires to feel open our womb is a portal for creativity and intuition and sensuality and so when we're telling ourselves that we're not doing enough even though we may not consciously be intending for it to affect our body and affect our reproductive health for example our body does internalize it 
and you don't have to like be scared and be like oh my gosh I've been like damaging my body like no you don't have to go down that road just be aware of how you're speaking to yourself from this situation and recognizing that it's not actually something that is going to serve you if you're trying to conceive and you're trying to grow your family because then it feels like that pattern would only show up more in that area of your life so it feels like the situation that you are experiencing I'm I'm mainly seeing in work and career but if this applies to another area of your life then you can you know take that in and interpret blah interpret that for yourself but because the journey of conception and pregnancy and building a family is so sacred those thoughts and that energy are carrying into that area of your life where instead of recognizing and trusting the process and um, feeling at home within your body, it's creating a bigger chain effect within your thoughts of, well, see, it's not working or I've been waiting so long or I'm not doing enough. What more can I do? So it actually feels like by looking at and healing this situation with seeking validation and seeking approval that it will it will actually benefit your womb and your reproductive health because then your body isn't going to go into the mode of I need to produce more or I'm not doing enough and being like in that stressful state. We always have to look at whether we're putting our body in fight or flight um, and I, I mean that like in one thing when I say fight or flight, it's fight or flight or um, rest and reset, right? So we have to recognize when we're unintentionally putting our body in that fight or flight mode because in that state, we're not allowing our body the space that it needs in order to rest, in order to reset and to be in a state where it will actually help facilitate conception. So again, this isn't something that you need to feel guilty about or be like, oh my gosh, I'm so frustrated at myself. These are themes that we all go through and that is the main, um, that's like one of the main energies that I want to bring into these forecasts and this podcast in general is just acknowledging these themes that we all go through as women and how we can work through them, heal them, shift them, and be in a state in our mind and body where we feel peace, joy, enlightenment, whatever your goal is. This brings me to acknowledging the very first card that I mentioned to you guys, which is nature makes me feel at home. Let's connect through there. So if you are currently trying to conceive, it feels like nature is the safe space for you to facilitate the connection with your spirit baby it feels like it just brings you away from all of the noise and it helps your body go into that rest and reset state that we were just talking about but also it feels like that's a theme for april is witnessing the current state of the nature around you and of the environment around you If you're in the U.S. or maybe even like Canada or maybe if you're just experiencing a change of the seasons right now, no matter where you are in the world, I'm hearing to embrace the change. So I know where I am right now. We have like, we're going to have a full week of just rain, but the next week is going to be really bright and sunny and warm. And so personally, I'm taking this week as a chance to look at where I can release, where I can shed, kind of like going with going with what Mother Nature is doing. I'm hearing to use Mother Nature as a teacher throughout this month. So if it's raining outside, allow yourself to acknowledge that day what you want to shed, what you want to release, maybe cry along with Mother Nature, right? And then if it's bright and sunny, where can you grow? Where can you create? Um, if it's snowing outside, notice how that makes you feel and 
amplify that in your own life. Mother Nature can teach us so much, honestly. Like, there's a lot that happens in Mother Nature that we don't even see every single day. Like, we don't even notice the flowers outside blooming. Like, we notice them, but we're not seeing the internal process. And Mother Nature is just doing it all day, every day. So, there's always something evolving around you. And I'm hearing that this card is inspiration to move with that evolution. All right, you guys, the spirit babies are giving me the thumbs up to signal that they are done with the messages that they wanted to share today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I believe this is the, I want to say seventh spirit baby forecast that we've done. I forget if we did it in, in September, but if we did start in September, then this would be the eighth one that we've done. So if you've been with me for all these months, thank you so much for tuning in. I would love to hear the experiences you've had and anything that resonates. And of course, if you are enjoying the podcast, be sure to hit that subscribe button, rate and review down below. It helps to get the podcast out to more and more beautiful, amazing women that way we can all grow and evolve together in this lifetime. Thank you again so, so much, and I will see you in the next episode.